We're very pleased to have on set today Steve Trifoletti, who is the Plymouth Town Moderator. Welcome, Steve. Thank you. Thank Thanks you for, for being, being here. here. Yes. Can you give us a little background on what, what a town moderator is and how long you've been doing it? So the town moderator in Plymouth presides over the legislative branch, which is right now a representative town meeting. Mm -hmm. In addition, the town moderator has certain appointments that are part of the responsibility of the town moderator. And I've been doing this, I just uh, observed my 25th anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. Silver, very good. Yes. Yeah, good. All right, so you're here today to talk about the Charter Review Committee. First of all, what is the charter? Right now, what is the charter for Plymouth? And what are the possible changes you can make in the charter? So the charter is like a constitution, and it really set up the framework for our form of government. Now, in the past 30 years, we've had a number of charter review commissions mm -hmm. and committees. And one of the changes that came out of one of the commissions was that the moderator has the responsibility to form a charter review committee at least once every five years. Mm -hmm. So as moderator, I have to decide when is a good time. To do that. And in the past year, a number of citizens have been urging me to form a committee. Okay. And I've decided at this point that it's ripe to post mm -hmm. for a nine-member committee that I will appoint at the end of June mm -hmm. to begin on July 1. Okay. So this committee is going to determine the best form of government going forward for Plymouth. Is that a fair statement? Past charter review committees and commissions have run the gamut. Some of them have done some small housekeeping changes. Okay. Others have pro proposed changes in the form of government. In 1990, the proposal on the ballot right. was a town council, strong town manager form of government. And that was defeated by a close margin. Okay. Thereafter, there have been a number of mayoral proposals, right. all of which were not adopted. However, there were a number of smaller amendments to the charter that have been approved. Okay. A common example would be roll call vote at town meeting. Mm -hmm. And now we're required to do that um, for certain financial votes, mm -hmm. zoning votes. Mm -hmm. And so one thing that we could see as a result of this charter review committee would be some housekeeping changes. For example, since the last charter review committee, I have instituted electronic voting at town meeting. Mm -hmm which has increased the number of roll call votes. And so the committee could move to codify the electronic voting as our form of roll call voting. That okay. would be a small change that kind of is reflective of the times. Okay. But the, the bigger changes would be actually how you, you're running the government in, in Plymouth. Now, does a, does a lot of this have to do with the expansion of Plymouth, just how huge it is now? Yes, if you think about it, when we look back to 30 years ago when we had the town council proposal and then the various changes over the years, the population continues to grow and we're very close to 60,000. Wow. We have 15 precincts. We're going to be going to 16 precincts. Yeah. So we have been growing mm. and the question for a charter review committee is what would be the form of government that best responds to our growing population and our growing needs. And what are the three options that you might come up with as the three different possibilities? You keep it the way it is. You can certainly keep it the way it is. Which is, for the, anyone who doesn't know. It's a bicameral form of government where we have an executive branch made up of the Board of Selectmen, yep. Yep. which is a five-member, multi-member body. Yep. Then the legislative branch of 135 elected town meeting representatives. Yep and a strong town manager. Okay, so that's what you have right now. That's what we have now, right now. Now, what are the other options that the Charter Review Committee can consider? Well, they can really consider any type of form of government, mm -hmm. uh, but the past committees have come up with two different types, a town council with a strong town manager mm -hmm. or a mayoral form of government. Okay. And in the past, when they've met, one of the things that has always been cited is that in terms of a representative town meeting, mm -hmm. we are the second largest. However, recently, the town of Framingham changed their representative town meeting, and I believe they went to a mayoral form of government, mm -hmm. which now puts Plymouth as the largest community with a representative town meeting. Right. So we're kind of at that point, point yeah. where, you know, do we follow Framingham yeah. to change our form of government, or do we stay where we are? 
and what would be a change, if any? And if you did go to the mayoral form of government, how would that change the town of Plymouth? Well, I mean, certainly it would drastically change the way in which we do things. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could have a person running, if you think about selectmen that serve now or selectmen that have served in the past, mm -hmm. any one of them has run for a town-wide seat, mm -hmm. and regardless of their experience or education, they could be elected and run the town as mayor. Okay. And town, you know, town voters, as mm -hmm. well as the charter committee, would have to decide, is this the right direction? Okay. And in the last couple of seconds we have, how do you select the members of the Charter Review Committee? They all have to be citizens. Okay. I have modeled the committee on a commission. So there's a legislative manner in which you can have a commission. The committees have all been nine members, the same as a commission. Okay. I look for diversity. Sure. I look for diversity in terms of gender, mm -hmm. in terms of background. I have some people who have served on a prior commissioner committee, mm -hmm. some who are new mm -hmm. to serving, some who have never been on a board of committee, some who have been elected townwide mm -hmm. or as town meeting, because I think that we want all points of view sure. represented. And I don't want an elitist group where everybody is known. Sure. And so although yeah. I've gotten some uh, concern about new people have to be up to speed, I still think it's important to have new voices right. mixed with those who are experienced. Right. A slice of the populace is always good. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much, and okay. we'll, I'm sure we'll hear how this all fans out in the future. Okay. Okay, well, thank thanks, you, Julie. Stephen thanks Tripoletti, so much. very much. Thank you.